hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Geraldine from Nadia Style today I'm working on this beautiful fabric to make a palazzo pants I'm so excited this is what I'm going to use the ruler the scissors pins measuring tape and the measurements of course this is my sister's measurements but I'm going to put a link down on how to take part in measurements and now uh, before we go straight to this video i have to show you my nails guys i did this the day before i shot this video my nails are made out of soft gel gel polish the gold fingers are like four wraps and uh, i have some nail stickers i have this flower sandwich into gel and a little goals are like zippers you can see oh my god i love these nails okay let's go straight to the video First thing first guys, I'm going to divide the measurements um, I need for the tutorial. I told you guys I'm working on the pants and I'm working on the lace top. So I'm starting with the pants. So this is the measurements I'm going to use. The round waist divided by 4. Divided by 2 is 43. Divided by 2 again is 21 and a half. Guys, you have to be fast and good in math, okay? The next measurement I'm going to work on is going to be the um, the round hips that I'll be dividing by 4 too. For the top, the lace top, I use the body patterns I already did. I'm going to put another link down on how to make your own body's pattern because that makes your life easier when you sew simple stuff like the crop top I'm about to sew with a black face. Guys, don't be confused. I wrote the measurements in French, but I could always translate in English. So, uh, TT is round waist. TB is round hips, as I said earlier. I wrote two crease, the TQs, that's like round ties, but I don't need that. So I just wrote it down because it's a flowy palazzo pen, so you don't need that measurement. So I'm going straight to the fabric. I'm going to fold in two and pin it together so it can stay still on the table. You know, chiffon move around a lot. So I'm going to measure the length of my pants, which is 98 for my sister, and I'm marking it down from the top to the bottom, 98. I take my chalk, I'm just going to put like a mark right there, and I'll take my ruler, that's 98, the length of the pants. The fabric is folded in two, remember, and I'm taking my ruler, I'm just going to draw a straight line to help me continue what I have to do. I'm going to divide this by two, not divide actually, I'm going to have like a 20, 28 centimeter, guys I'll bring my tip, uh, I'll bring my uh, camera closer so you can see, I'm going to zoom it up so you can see closer what I'm talking about. Alright, I drew a line in the middle. And I'm going to measure 14 centimeter on the other side and 14 centimeter on the other side. So it's 28 centimeter. This 28 centimeters is my round tie, not my round hips. 28. So the line in the middle was like the center line to help me give me direction. So I'm measuring 14 on the left, 14 on the right of the center line i drew so i'm going to connect that down that is my round hips again as i said I'm connecting it down to like <clears throat> the height of my hips which was 20 centimeters i'm measuring it down the height of my hips right there 20 centimeters 20 centimeters on the other side and i'm going to draw like a box Take my ruler and draw like a back so from this 20 centimeters which my which is my hip line from the waist of the hips so from that 20 centimeter i'm just gonna flare it down to the bottom like flare it down for the the uh, the palazzo pants before i do that let me work on my waistline and the shape of the pen so i'm taking four centimeter outside to bring out my curve like that
All right, as you can see, I'm bringing another curve. Give it a very nice curve. Four centimeters again, again, as I said, from the 14 total 28. I take out four centimeters in the center of the front to bring out my curve of the pant. So the rest of the video is self-explanatory. And I'm going down from the 20 centimeter. I'm taking another four centimeters down. Four centimeters out from the center front and four centimeters down from the hip, the height of the hips. So there you go. I'm showing you my tape measurements. Two centimeters just to bring a little to curve the waistline of the pants. Remember the front curves a little bit down by two, but the back goes higher because of the butt. All right, so it's more it's self-explanatory so just watch the video and you're going to understand the steps I do the kind of very very self-explanatory and um, let's keep going All right, I cut the front of the pant and I'm going ahead to cut the back of the pant. I'm doing the same thing, folding my fabric by two for the back and I'm placing the front on top of the, of, the, of the fabric to cut the back. Guys, when you sew pants, when you're cutting pants, you, you always use the front to cut the back to make your job way easier. But the difference at this, the back, the center, of the back goes upper to give enough room to the butt and on the other side in between the legs you have to add at least four to six centimeters I added four like that and then up on the waistline four to six too you add up and you curve it up like that you can see so I'm going to stop talking you're just gonna watch but guys, remember, I'm not showing you the sewing pad, and the sewing, the complete sewing steps. I'm just gonna bring the fabric on the table and show you where you have to stitch. Go away and stitch, and come back to the table, because I don't want the video to be too super long. So, if you need more details, me sewing and all of that, you can always comment on the sec comment section below and ask what you want me to in seas or take my time on so stay watching enjoy the um video the tutorial and uh, your questions are welcome please don't forget to like share and subscribe see you guys at the end of the tutorial
all right i'm at the last step of the pants which is applying the waistband the elastic sandwich elastic and the waistband that's what i'm doing right now then i'm going to go ahead overcast the pants and fold the bottom by like one quarter of an inch this is how the final products look like is she beautiful isn't she beautiful i was on her birthday that's the pearl lasso pants and the lace cropped up i hope you learned from the video please share comment and subscribe to my channel for more fashion videos and nails tutorial love